Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the sea, the ATL Don, checking in, and you're watching Fitted Fame. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Kid friend looks going to turn off. Talkin' that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no mess, cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fame, we have another special Minor League Monday stadium exclusive. With no further ado, let's get into this. If you've been following the last couple weeks, you know we've been picking up a lot of stuff from uh, the Danville Braves, which is being done away with along with uh, 39 other teams. And we also did the Pulaski Yankees, which is also being done away with. This first one is not a team on that list being eliminated. It is an Advance A affiliate of um, the Toronto Blue Jays. It's the Dunedin Blue Jays. So without further ado, let's get into this. I like collecting minor league stuff that favors their major league affiliate. So I wanted to pick this up. Wasn't no crazy sale or nothing. Like how I got the stuff from the Danville Braves and the Pulaski Yankees, but they did have a game used BP jersey that I wanted to get. So first time of me ever purchasing anything from them. That's it. It's, you know, Toronto Blue Jays bag. This is Jay's shop on the other side. Alright, so the first thing I got was, oh man, the bill's all bent upwards from the way they package it in the box. I can fix that. But So, I got their on-field fitted. Kind of wish they didn't cram it in the box like that. It's kind of curved up on me. So, it's got the traditional Toronto Blue Jays, Blue Jay with the D for Dunedin attached to it. I do have one from one of their teams that did get eliminated, the Bluefield Blue Jays. It looks very similar, just exception this has a D and that other one had a B. So all blue dome, blue bill. It's got the logo done and just the, the blue, the white, and the navy. Very, very nice. It's got the white New Era flag. Got the MILB logo done in the blue, the navy, and the white. Nothing on the other side. Black underbill. Got it in 7 3 quarter New Era. Miley tagging. This was 35, which is about you know an average going price for hats at the Minor League stadiums. But uh, that sort of pissed me off how the bills kind of bent up. But we can fix that though. So I did pick up a game used BP jersey to go with it. Uh, it does have a stain on the logo. That sucks. Hopefully I can get that out. So. I don't remember the, the player that this belonged to. He didn't even have a stain on the back number two. Darn it. All right, so um, just all blue with the same logo as the hat. It does have staining on the face of the logo, which it is game used, so that does happen on occasion. It's uh, made by Russell. has the Russell on the right sleeve and bordered. Uh, size XL. It's got the tagging down here, though, so it says Russell and XL. Nothing on the other sleeve. On the back, it's got the MILB logo patch done in black and white. Then it's got number 20 on the back. I try to normally get um, the game used jerseys for pitchers because they usually get less dirty than a position player. So I'm guessing just by the dirt on this, it's probably a position player. Hopefully I can get it out. So, very, very nice. Everything's on bordered on both the front and the, it's like a, a patch sewn on the front and the jersey numbers in the back are sewed on. They did have versions that had heat press numbers, but I wanted to go um, with this version. They were the same price. So, that's my pickups from the Dunedin Blue Jays. This was 50 bucks. They still had a few left. I don't know at the time of this recording if they still have any. All right, then I once again picked up some more stuff from the Danville Braves. The, the deals just kept getting crazier and crazier. This is uh, week three of our Minor League Monday series. Hopefully we can do maybe one. I know we're doing at least one more, maybe two more. Alright, so they had some crazy steals on this go around with the Danville Braves. I couldn't pass it up, so I really stocked up on some hats. Uh, 
I did get this shirt again as a double up just because they're being done away with and I like the shirt and it was marked down. It did not put the pricing on this uh, invoice, but you got their new style logo with Danville Braves. You got like the home plate type logo on it. Very nice. Nothing on the sleeves or on the back. It's printed on a Gildan blank. Got it size XL. I think I got this for around 10 bucks. I think it normally was 18. So this is my second one of these, which this is now sold out. Actually, on their site, the only thing left is the new style logo, and a few of the sizes are sold out. Then they got a couple miscellaneous shirts. Other than that, the site's basically been wiped out. All right, so we did get a bunch of fitteds. They also had the deal if you got a new style logo, you get the Ronald Kuna mini bobblehead that was only 500 made. It was meant to be a giveaway for this coming up season, but since it didn't happen, they found ways to still give them out through orders. So this is my second one of these. I'm going to hook my buddy up with one of those. It's, he's a big bobblehead fanatic. All right. So these were marked down to $2 a piece. These are made in the USA. This is the older version Danville Braves when they used to have the white button with the white eyelets. So this is 758s, new era. The MILB logos, flush on the back, nothing on the other side, gray underbill, even the new air stickers old school before they did the gold foil. And we got the white sweatband, it's 758 new era, Miley tagging. So I got two in the seven and five eighths. I went ahead and I do not remember if this is a double up or triple up. I think it might be a triple up overall but my second and seven three quarter of the new school logo which you had to buy the new school logo hats and to be eligible to get the bobblehead so I'm thinking this is a triple up but a double up in the seven three quarter I, I'm could be mistaken I might actually have three in the seven three quarter I don't honestly remember so this was marked down to 20 it used to be in the mid 30s so Typical uh, Braves colorway with their new school logo to resemble how the font on the Atlanta Braves A is done because they used to have this style D on the hats. But unfortunately, they never got to wear this. Uh, this was going to be their 2020 logo. Then shortly after they revealed the logo, they announced that the 40 teams were going to be eliminated and they happened to be one of them. Then the pandemic happened. The minor league season got canceled. So they never actually got the chance to wear this logo, which is a shame. So... Got the New Era logo done in red. Got the MILB logo done in red, navy, and white. Nothing on the other side. Black underbill. Seven three quarter New Era minor league tagging. And I don't remember if I bought this one yet, but um, this was their alternate logo that had the tomahawk going through it. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. I like. The more clean look without the tomahawk but since they're um we're running out i went ahead and just added the collection so i wouldn't regret it later so this was also 20 looks identical to the one you just saw with the exception of the tomahawk running through the d nothing's nothing's different on it other than that then i grabbed a couple of these for two dollars a piece danville brave size seven this is it looks similar to, to this one but as you see the button's red on top and the eyelets are done in navy to blend in. That's the only difference, really, with exception. This one um, with the white button and the eyelets is USA made, and this one isn't. So, got this in size 7. Nothing really special about it. So, we got three of these in size 7. Don't you know, I don't, I don't wear that size, but these are going to be in the next hat sale that we're going to have coming up hopefully very soon or I may throw them on eBay I haven't decided yet so I hope everybody enjoyed today's video please give a big thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already trans unlimited merch in the description till next time it's your boy from the C the ATL Don sign out peace
rocket to the left, I can rock it to the right, I can rock it to the back, either way it's looking tight. She like, come on baby, give me that, you're looking good in that fitting. I got all colors, all teams, all crisp, all mean, cocked up with a lean, brand new, now I mean, so fresh, so clean, gotta rock the ice cream, flood the mess with a guest, now you see that ice gleam, white stitch, see the seam, Celtics, white and green, come through with white and blue, Yankees, the magic jeans.